My name is Karen Bennett, and I am the director of the Cinematic Arts Academy at Milliken. In the film industry, I think some of the work that I did that people are most in interested to hear about um, would be the work that I did with James Cameron on the TV show Dark Angel. Um, it was two years uh, I was on the project um, as a music editor, and so my job was to be sort of a go-between between, between Joel McNeely, the composer, and the director and producers. Um, mostly I worked with the producers and the, and the composer, uh, deciding where the music should go in the film, um, where it shouldn't go, how it should sound. Uh, sometimes we would take music from older episodes and put it in. I found myself working with John Williams, um, and uh, it just, it wasn't enough. Working with John Williams wasn't enough, which is a really horrible thing to realize, that you've been climbing the wrong mountain with the wrong dream for so long. At the heart of it, I remembered how much I loved working with kids. Um, I had worked with kids in my youth, and there was something missing in my life, and I think it was kids. So I went to John, and I said, you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I've had to work with you, but I would like very much to try to pursue a teaching credential. And he was really, really happy. Um, I think he, he saw where the industry was going and was a little concerned for um, the, the job of music editor, which in fact has relatively imploded since I've left uh, due to studio rules and things like that. But while I was working with him on several other films, um, I got my teaching credential. Well, the truth of the matter is that I'm most proud of being a teacher. And I couldn't be happier, truthfully. A little poorer, but happier. The biggest challenge to starting a film program is finding the funding to provide computers and equipment for the kids to use. Without it, you're really stuck. Um, without a computer, you can't teach the kids how to edit. Um, and so I remember we fought and fundraised and tried to find help. Um, and we finally got our computers and they were iMac computers. And I came in during the summer, during my summer break to paint the walls of the classroom to make it look really nice. And I walked in and, and the funny thing is that I didn't notice it right away. Um, and after a, a few minutes I thought, gosh, this classroom is really empty. And then I looked around and I thought, where are my computers? And then my heart starts to sink as I, I realize the inevitable. Um, it was a shock. It was, it was a, a massive disappointment because whoever took them knew that they were taking them out of a public school classroom. And I don't think that there are a whole lot of people in the world that are under any illusion that public schools have to work super hard to get technology into their classrooms. This is our fifth year of CAM, our fifth full year of CAM. Um, every now and then I take a, a moment and step back and I kind of am, am able to look at where we've come. My favorite memory in CAM has to be um, our first off-campus shoot where we went to Paramount Ranch and we shot a Western. Um, for years, I had always told the kids that there are a few types of movies we'll never make in camp. And one is a Western because we'll never have, you know, a Western set and, you know, the period piece, you know, wardrobes and props and all of the rest of that. And so that first day on set at the Paramount Ranch where we had um, Bobby Gilliam dressed up as the guilty cowboy and we had Pete Gardner as like the evil sheriff and it stopped my heart to see the kids there. Um, and we had had two of my former students come back to kind of mentor the kids through the shoot. And there's one moment where one of my students, his name's Jeremy, has the fig rig. And he's walking back in the shot. And my first film student, Cameron, has his hand on his shoulder guiding him backwards. 
and the actors in the scene are almost all my early students. So Matt Gardner's in there and he was in my very first English class when I was a teacher. Um, and Skyler was in it and he was one of my um, all time favorite actors to work with and he's worked in a bazillion movies with me. And I looked and I saw my former students mentoring my current students and it just sucked the wind out of me to see that. I don't think that there's ever been a sense of accomplishment that I've ever felt in my life that compares to just that one moment. Cam has been a really wonderful way for me to explore being a teacher and also doing something that I really love that's creative. I've had a, a really fun time with it so far. I don't quite know where we're going to go with it in the future. The program keeps morphing and changing year after year. Um, so I don't quite know where we're going to go yet. Um, I absolutely love going to Seattle with the kids for Nifty and I am so excited to get back there in the fall. Um, just make more movies, man. I think the thing that is going to keep this program running for a long time for me are those happy accidents. Um, the funny moments on sets, uh, the moment where, oh my gosh, you had no idea that the shot was going to look this good. I think that's going to keep us running for the long run.